Hey everyone, so we are here in Miami, Florida, and we're just sitting in our hotel room, and my wife and I were actually probably both on a live <laughs> right now. Uh, I wanted to share just some insights, some things that I've been thinking about, about how to create a strong brand. So when I started my business, um, the, the most important thing to me was to go out there, have conversations with people, and really just talk to them. But what I ended up realizing very quickly is that my brand was not strong enough. I didn't have the right message across. Um, I was a little bit confused. I was trying to figure out exactly how to create the right offer. And what I started to compartmentalize and just put together was simply coming up with my story, you know, who I am and what, what can I deliver for people and what, what could I add value for them. Um, so, so when it comes to building your own brand and building your business so um, so you can have more sales, so you can have a stronger strategy, stronger marketing and content strategy, um, really it's not actually about building the business, it's actually about building your brand. And when it comes to uh, building your brand, there's really three areas that I think is really important um, that, that we have to address. So first, get clear on your story. You know, stories give you a personality. When you think about a brand, you think about two factors. You think about the, the brand itself, and then you also think about your personality. And those are the two pillars that come together. We all have a story. Um, the fact of the matter is uh, our problems, our solutions are, are not necessarily very unique. Um, there are similar similarities involved with that. But we can find touches of uniqueness uh, within our personality that, that can ultimately drive more visibility just through your brand. So, so take your mistakes, take your experience, and try to define a solution. The second thing that I would say is defining your unique selling proposition, which uh, in layman's terms, you know, in marketing terms, it's called your USP. So with your USP, you have to figure out what makes you unique. Now, Although we may have similar problems and we all try to find similar solutions, there's always that uniqueness that you can find within you that could really separate your brand. I set myself apart from other growth strategists by utilizing my marketing experience to help increase my client's visibility. Now that's something I had to write down, I had to look through and had to really identify with that. And, I, and I've repeated myself and unfortunately I wasn't able to memorize it but the importance of it was to take what sets me uh, apart and how I could take my experience and help my clients further in, in their brand. The second thing, the third thing actually uh, that we would like to talk about is how to create a brand message and offering. So I help business, business owners transform their business by driving their brand awareness, marketing and sales strategies to ultimately increase their bottom line. So really what this is broken down to is your who, your what, and your how. How are you gonna get them there? How are you going to ultimately bring them to results? Um, and, and of course, part of it is actually identifying where do they wanna be, and where they are going to be is where they are currently holding. Integrating this on all channels is so crucial. You don't want to share on your website one thing and then you share on your social media profile another thing. You, you really want to be clear on your message and say, this is exactly what I do on all levels, whether I'm on TikTok, whether I'm on Facebook, whether I'm on LinkedIn. So keeping that integration and the cohesiveness through all those channels is really important. And when you know your ideal client, which I'll, I'll be happy to discuss that in another live, when you know your ideal client and you feel your ideal client, you get your ideal client, you will start to see that your ideal client will come closer to you. So if, if anyone you know needs some help with that, understanding their target market, understanding branding strategies, feel free to reach out to me. And uh, looking forward to talking more about uh, branding, marketing, and sales strategies.